the yield curve can take on a variety of shapes, the most common being the upward sloping shape. Okay, it's upward sloping because there's higher yields for longer maturities. Now, if you look at the yield curve at any given point in time, it's most likely going to have an upward sloping shape like this, but not always. It could have different shapes. For example, you could have a flat yield curve, which basically means that the yield is no different whether you have a short-term financial instrument or a long-term financial instrument. The term to maturity doesn't have much effect on the yield. That's why it's flat. Okay, you could also have a downward sloping yield curve, which is commonly called the inverted yield curve. And with an inverted yield curve, basically the yield happens to be higher for a shorter term to maturity than it is for a longer term to maturity. Okay? Now, if there is ever an inverted yield curve, you're going to hear about it in the financial press. And the reason is that inverted yield curves have historically preceded recession. So you might see some financial news uh, articles saying, oh, the, the yield curve just inverted. Uh, we, we're expecting now that there could be a, a recession in the near future. Okay, So that's a downward sloping or inverted yield curve. Now, the yield curve could take on some shape other than these three that we just talked about. So that would be some kind of variable curve. I drew a picture of one here, uh, but that's not necessarily what it would look like. It could look like a variety of things. But typically, you're going to have an upward sloping yield curve. Before a recession, you'd have a downward sloping yield curve. But it's always possible you could have some kind of weird shape that no one has ever seen before.